Hey guys, I'm here with a couple of Slater Brothers people, Florentino and Carlos. And they drove this wonderful truck here to Hemet for the grand opening at the Sanderson Stater Brothers. So Florentino, what can you tell me about this truck? Well, I had the privilege to uh, see the truck when it was being restored. They brought this truck from uh, South Dakota by one of our best em employees, uh, Mr. Uh, Oliver uh, Gregor, and his nickname was Shainer. That, that is the name of the truck. So I had the privilege to uh, pick up every single piece of trash that came out of the, the, the tractor and trailer. And I had the privilege to be this here uh, this morning at, in Hemet for this grand opening, our 195 uh, store. And uh, I thank you for asking me these questions. So what year is the truck? It's a 1947, the truck, and a trailer 1948. And the truck was made by? Uh, it's Diamond. called a Diamond T. That was a trucking company, right? Yes, it's a trucking company, Diamond T. And of course, the license plate says Stater One. Yes, this is a number one uh, tractor. <laughs> Stater One, yes. So, can we walk around the vehicle and you can talk about of it? Of course, of course, we can. So, do let's that. go this way. As I was telling you, uh, Shainer is the nickname of the person that went to South Dakota to uh, bring the tractor and uh, the trailer. Uh, okay, I hold on. Can you open inside? Yes, sir. So what do we have inside? Well, this is the old-fashioned uh, way that uh, they used to uh, build trucks back then, 1947. That was a long time ago. And uh, the steering wheel uh, it doesn't have power steering, of course. That is uh, one of our. Uh, Sufferance, if I may use the word, <laughs> as we drive it. And it's manual? Yes, it's manual, yes. How many? Four. Four gear? Uh, yes, first, uh, second, uh, third, and fourth, and then uh, you reverse. So that's uh, reverse, yes. So that's what we have over here. I see knobs on the dashboard. Is that for your windshield wipers? Uh, yes, yes. So those. it's manual windshield wipers? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you? Well, not, not the wipers, but the, the, the windows open, as you can tell. They, they open. Uh, um, so there's safari the windows? Air. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Cool. Air so air conditioning, there, there <laughs> no you go. Two at 60. <laughs> no air conditioning. And we Slater have, Brothers. Uh, one of the trailers, uh, it is my understanding that we used to uh, drive this, uh, use these trailers to deliver groceries. Back in 1936, when the company first started. So did the trailers look like this back then? Yes, sir. With the yes. same lettering? Uh, well, you think? something similar. This is more fancy, but something similar, yes. We, okay. can, we can give a uh, yes to that uh, question. So uh, like I was telling you, I got the privilege to see this trailer being restored. Every piece that you see, I, got, I, I saw it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> now, how long, was the, how long was the restoration? Well, uh, let's see if I remember that. Uh, I think we, it took at least six, uh, five to seven months, if I remember right. Yes. All right, so Come we're on. in the back of the truck. Okay. Uh, and, wow, Stater 2. Stater 2. Trailer is the number two vehicle of the company, Stater Brothers Markets, and uh, it was given uh, Stater 2, the trailer. Can we open the back? Yes, sir, we can. We got some... Uh... We're gonna find groceries and stuff for Stater Brothers in there, right? <laughs> well, not really, but... Uh... So you... <laughs> there you go. We already gave them away. <laughs> <laughs> you ever... Is this used for transport anymore, or is it just a display? Just trophies and... Uh, trophies just in? trophies and accessories that we need for the truck to actually show. We got trophies up in the top. Oh, but okay. Trophy case. Wow. Uh, so, would the trailer have this wooden walls back yeah. then? Uh, it is my understanding. Yes, that's the kind of uh, <coughs> walls that they used to have. This uh, is has been uh, uh, restored thoroughly. In and out, okay, it's, but that's uh, the way they used to be here, back then. then uh, so you've got display in, uh, cases, which you actually allow people to get in the trailer and take a look. Yes, well, this this one opens. Uh, 
all the way over here. Okay. So people can see the trophies that oh, uh, okay. the truck okay. and trailer has uh, received. Uh, every time we go, we participate on a, a parade. Those are the trophies. So that this actually have. comes towards the back. Yes, sir, it comes towards and the closes, back. And closes, okay. Swings over. Yes. Swings over, cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, cool. Well, it's nice inside. Yes, yes, it's very nice. So this side is similar to the other side, except it has a door. Yes, yes, this one has a door, the side door. Can we open this one? Yes, sir, that is very helpful. To, uh, yes, another one that way. What would you use this side door for? Unload the trunk. Sometimes you had another store in the back, and you had a, a store in the front. At the time, you partitioned it, so it's the one store would get unloaded from the side door, and then you'd open the back for the back door. And some stores were unloaded at that time uh, through the side, because there was no docks available and you would put the old carts and pull them by five cases at a time inside the store. Cool. Long while back. Wow. Now it's all palletized. Of course. So this is the inside. By the side door. And it's got a rounded front. Yes sir, it does. Pre-aerodynamic. Yeah. <laughs> and a wooden floor. Yes. Looks like parquet. It's good solid. Yeah. And that company's still in, in, in business. Oh, yeah? Utility Trailer. What was it again? Utility Trailer Company. It's still in business. Yeah. So it must have made a good product. Still in still business. Do. We buy nothing but utility trailers now. Okay. Fun. And of course. So this is a two-seater? Yes, sir. Only two people can see that. Driver and passenger. Diamond T. Diamond T. Wow. There we go. This is a what? Eight cylinder? It's, uh, Ten? Six cylinder. Six cylinder. Wow. Yeah, six cylinder. Mm -hmm. Able to. That's powerful then. Yeah. So, Florencio, can you tell me a little about the engine? This engine, uh, it's called a Di Di Diamond T, has six cylinders, and uh, it's still running pretty good. Uh, Powerful? Yes, it still has power. Not uh, the, It runs only about 25 to 35 miles per hour. Really? But yes. So how'd you get it here from? But, well, we have a low boy trailer, okay. and we load it on a low boy trailer with uh, one of our trucks, tractors. And uh, that's how we bring it over here to uh, run openings like this one that you are seeing today. How come it runs so slow though? Uh, that is a wonderful question. I asked the same question myself. And I guess back then uh, the speed was only 35 miles per hour. Third roads. Yes, yes. Yeah, so they didn't, have, we didn't, they didn't have the freeways that we do have now. So <laughs> it was not according to... And not so many stores either. Yes, sir. And uh, when we uh, go to short distances, so we drive it and we take it driving. So it's, it's um, that's what I can say about the engine. And um, and you're the primary driver. No, sir. I I'm, I happen to be uh, just a helper. The primary driver is uh, Carlos over here. Carlos, please come over here, would you please? Hi. This is a professional driver. Hey, Carlos. So what's it like driving this vehicle? Well, like almost any other vehicle, but you got to be extra careful. Yeah? No no bumps, no hits, no runs, no I errors. hear you can't go over 30 <laughs> miles an hour. No, and we won't. We'll keep it safe. And uh, So there's a limiter in this show. thing, right? 
Yeah. 30 miles per hour, that's it. Max, and we ain't going any farther, faster. <laughs> and the people love this vehicle. At every place we go is a, a crowd that piles up and they remember some of these trucks or they have a fascination of the color and the way it's to, uh, done. And they haven't seen something like this in a long time. And you guys do parades as well, right? Yes. Wow. A lot of Every that, event we can, we try to make uh, parades, usually at Christmas time and or uh, just car shows and overall. I think you guys are ready to depart, aren't you? Because the flags yeah. aren't on the vehicle anymore. Yeah, we took them off so we get people that have, need, the, need the parking instead of us being in the way of their if the customers are first. Well, always, always. That's right. All right, thank you, gentlemen. That was great. Thank okay. you so much. Yeah. Have a wonderful right, day. Thanks. Yeah. It only has 2,400 miles. What year is the cab? Uh, 47. Got to build up the air. And Dang, that sounds nice. Uh, better when you step on it. If you let it idle, it'll uh, shake a lot. Like I said, it doesn't run that often. How often does it run? Uh, every time we come out to grand openings or parades, from here till uh, first of January, we'll probably go to a half a dozen to a dozen parades. Okay. And they'll start it up then. But throughout the years, hardly ever. So is it on display at headquarters or what? Uh, it has its own little garage section that uh, they keep it in, and all the support and stuff that they need, um, stuff like that. The grand opening items. Yeah. You know. Do a good job here for keeping things up together. What's this patch I see on your sleeve? Oh, it's uh, they when you have so many miles and so many years of uh, safe driving, they give you a patch of a million miles. So you've got it looks like a million miles. Yeah, that was, probably more by now. Yeah, uh, that was ten years ago. I'm waiting sure. for my two million miles. Oh, okay, that's getting close, but it's, it's all good.